Hello, you are watching Yenim Sava TV. I'm Avina Sam with you. Here are news. Armenia continues violating ceasefire with Azerbaijan. Over the last 24 hours, Armenian armed forces have violated the ceasefire in various directions along the line of contact between Azerbaijan and Armenian troops. A soldier of Azerbaijan armed forces, Elvin Ahmadov, who was wounded in a clash during another provocation of Armenian army, died of wounds despite the efforts of doctors the Azerbaijan Defense Ministry deported. The other Azerbaijan soldiers who died while preventing the provocations of Armenian army along the front line on the night of February 24 to 25 include Shahlar Nazarov, Akshin Abdullayev, Tural Hashemli, Zufi Gadamev and Zakir Jafarov. The bodies of these soldiers were carried away from the battlefield with the participation of international intermediaries yesterday. Azerbaijan embassy in the US told Azerbaijan press agency that the event on the 25th anniversary of Hojala massacre, held as a part of the Justice for Hojala International Awareness Campaign, was attended by US congressmen, congressional staff, members of the diplomatic corps, representatives of Azerbaijan and Turkish communities in the United States, as well as the local community. Addressing the event, Mehriban Mamadova, president of the Azerbaijan Center of Midwest of America, spoke about the traces left by Hojala massacre on the memory of the Azerbaijan people. In the event, survivor of Hojala tragedy, Narmin Ibrahimova, who is studying in the US, shared her bitter memories about the blood massacre occurred 25 years ago. She spoke about the sufferings underwent by hungry and so the Hojala's residents in the forest at cold winter nights in order to escape the uh, atrocities of the Armenian soldiers. The Azerbaijan survivors said that the hundreds of the civilians were brutally killed during massacre. And this incident left deep and unforgettable traces in the memories of miners like her. The Organization for Security and Cooperation in Europe is expected to monitor the line of contact between Armenian and Azerbaijan troops on March 1st, Azerbaijan Defense Ministry told Azerbaijan Press Agency. The monitoring will be held under the mandate of Organization for Security and Cooperation in Europe, chairperson in office, personal representative along the line of contact near Chamanli village of Azerbaijan's Ardam district. On the Azerbaijan side, the monitoring will be conducted by field assistance of person representative of the Organization for Security and Cooperation in Europe, Chairman in Office Jury Eberle and Peter Swedberg. In the territory of Azerbaijan, occupied and controlled by Armenian armed forces, the monitoring will be held by the personal representative Organization for Security and Cooperation in Europe Chairman in Office Ambassador Andrei Karspis, his field assistants Jeanat Petrik and Hirist Hiristov. And today Azerbaijan celebrating Fire Tuesday, the second Tuesday before Novus holiday. That's all for today. Thank you for watching. See you next time.